Tonight, new information in a search for an eight-month-old baby who's been missing for several days. Yeah, major police and fire response to the bank of Eagle Creek today could be related to the investigation. News 8's Eric Feldman joins us now from IMPD headquarters with what we've learned. Eric? Yeah, we've learned about some new possible evidence in this case as the search continues for eight-month-old Amaya Robertson. IMPD wouldn't say who tipped police off, but this afternoon there was quite a large presence of not only IMPD, but also Indianapolis Fire Department at the, just off of, I would say, McCarty and Sadie, that they were there this afternoon into the early evening hours. Police wouldn't say what they found because this is still a very active investigation. IMPD wouldn't get into to that, but one sergeant described it as, quote, items that could possibly be related to the case, end quote. This was all found off the banks of Eagle Creek. The forensics team from IMPD is going to be looking at what they picked up to see if it's relevant to Amaya's case. Witnesses are still being interviewed. Who, who though, police wouldn't say. Meanwhile, family waited as they saw first responders sorting through this scene, and that wait continues tonight. I just, want, I just want to find out where she's at and who got her. Because in the end, we want to find Amaya. That's who we want to find. That's who we want to find safe. We don't want to chase false rumors. We don't want to chase the rumor mill at all. So if you want to help, call us with that information. And speaking of where to call, we just learned within the last couple minutes that the silver alert that was issued for Amaya is going to end at midnight because police say there haven't been too many tips to that line. But IMPD says that it is getting plenty of calls on its own line. So make sure to call IMPD. That number, of course, 317-262-TIPS with any information, any lead on where Amaya could be. We did also hear IMPD, as you heard Sergeant Gillespie talking about in that soundbite about the challenges in this case, the rumor mill and social media really playing a factor here. Sergeant Gillespie says every time there's something spreading on social media, detectives are investigating it. And as he just said, if you have a tip, make sure to call police and they will get right on it. Now, I want to address something else you probably saw in the video. A fire rescue team was on scene. That's because they thought that there could be some information, some evidence uh, in the water that they wanted to make sure that they got. It ended up just being debris, but that is why you saw the fire rescue team there in the video. So any new information that we learn will, of course, update you on this story. I'm live downtown. Eric Feldman, Wish TV News 8.